It's cracking YouTube. We back. Finally, man. I'm finally able to get back on the camera. Man, I've been under the weather, man, dealing with the family stuff and everything, you know, just basketball, football, just all kind of stuff going on. Work, man, I'm real busy at work. So, like I said, if y'all in the tech game, you, you know you got to get it while it's getting as good. So, we've been super, super busy slamming the shop. So, I've been doing that. But I finally decided to pick the camera back up and get back on my project car so I can get it closer to being done. So, that I can actually just drive and enjoy it without worrying about like little stuff that I already have here. If I already have the stuff at home, I should just finish it instead of just dragging my feet. But you know, everybody gets tired from time to time. So we gonna get started on that. But I did add something new to my garage, you know, to kind of, you know, make it a little different in here instead of just, you know, the same old same. So I changed some stuff around and I bought, I'm gonna show y'all what I bought. If it don't blind the camera, if I can get it right, I bought, there we go the octagon lights for the ceiling, but they're too big for the ceiling. So I just put them on the wall over here and it actually looks pretty good. If you can see it shining off the car, it actually looks pretty good right there. So we put those on the wall. I may end up painting this whole wall black and then doing like, you know, have one of my guys that did my mural on the other side over there. I did the Nipsey Hustle mural on that wall. I may have him do like a ghosted in Cadillac logo behind the lights, so that may look pretty cool. But the point of today's video is we're about to get started on this front suspension. Gotta get all this stuff swapped out today. We're probably gonna get it swapped out. I think today we're just gonna bust everything down because I'm really tired, man. I'm going through it. And like I said, I've been feeling under the weather. Y'all probably tell in my voice, man. It's, the weather change has just been crazy, so it's got my allergies all over the place. So we gonna take these off adapters off we got to break everything down and i forgot my drill i don't know how i forgot but you have to make elongate the holes a little bit make those a little wider on the uh bottom of these uh control arms to fit the front qa1 shocks so i gotta get those installed that probably won't be till tomorrow i don't know but today we're gonna get all this out we're gonna start tearing down all this old nasty control arms. I think the problem I'm having, the reason I'm replacing all this, which I was going to originally, was I think the bushing on the front driver's side is out. When I get it to like 65, like 60, it'll start to shake a little bit and you feel it, but as I go faster, it goes away. So I don't think it's a U-joint or anything like that. I think it's just some of these bushings are just really worn out. So we're getting a little vibration going back and forth. So. We're gonna replace all that stuff. And plus, like I said, to save my tires, cause I don't wanna wear out some really expensive tires and be replacing them prematurely. That's never good. So right now, I'm actually about to start taking all of this off and we gotta bust it down. I noticed though, one thing I did notice that's gonna kinda noise me is on my front, I've already did you know, the Steering dampers new, in and outer tie rods are new. I didn't do the center link, which I should have, but I didn't. So I wind up probably just greasing up the center link. I don't know if I'm gonna replace my idler arm and pitman arm, probably not. But I gotta take these off. I already pulled the cotter pin out of this one, but I gotta take these out in order to access that bolt right there. So that's what we're gonna do. We gonna Pull the front, tie rod set up off, both sides, brakes off. I, I wanna repack the bearings anyway, so once we get those off, that'll be good. These off, we're gonna sand all this down where it's not all nasty and crazy under here. Get it done. I already took off the uh, stabilizer bars back here on my trunk, back here. We've already cleaned it up, reshot it with that metallic gold. Did the brackets in black with the gold headed bolts. I see the Bucky's blanket. If you're ever in Dallas, Texas, don't stop in Bucky's. You go for thirty dollars worth of gas and spend three hundred dollars. I got like twelve of these blankets. But anyway, when you have kids, best thing you want to do is see them smile. So if I got forty of these blankets, it really doesn't matter as long as the kids are happy. Kids happy, I'm happy. But let's get started 
on tearing this down. So went ahead, pulled off tie rods and the adapter so I can actually turn this and try to get this brake off. So once I get this brake out, these two here, once I get these out, then I should be able to hang this out of the way. Once I get it hung out of my way, then I can try and knock off nuts on both ends right here. I have to clean up all the dirt off of them. So let me figure out what size that is. Uh, hopefully I got the right size. Too small, but You gotta be kidding me. So nine. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Torch not. What the? Oh my god. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to get these off. I don't have the right size bolt to get these, well, hex head to get these off. So let me try to figure that out. And then we'll go ahead and take the rotor out and start trying to get this upper control arm off. We'll get the shock out, the upper control arm, and then we should be able to lower this down enough to get the spring out and then we'll start taking this lower control arm off as well. So let me figure that out and then we'll cut y'all back on. So got the brake off and we went ahead and pulled the rotor off, got it off. We'll repack the bearings. Right now I need to get, I don't know how I'm gonna get that rusty cotter pin out. These two cotter pins are pretty crusty. So that's gonna be a problem in itself. Trying to get these old, oh no, that might not be that bad. Just trying to get these old rusty cotter pins to come out. Got them out. May wind up trying to break them out, but I gotta get 90% of this away from the bolt so I can actually put the socket on it. I see this bottom ball joint is completely blown out. I know it's just not the boot, it's got a ton of play in it, so got to go. And a lot of people are saying, why don't you just replace the ball joints on stuff like this? You could, but putting a ball joint on it is just as about the same price as replacing all the control arms, so let's get new control arms. So let's figure out how to get these cotter pins out. And then cotter pins control arm. And then we'll tackle getting these bolts out. Put my jack under here. And then we'll lower it down after I get the shock out. And then after that, should be able to get it apart and start sanding down all the surface stuff off of here. Because actually I'm going to take all this apart plus all the brackets and stuff underneath so we can sand those, paint those out. So I got everything undone. Man, it's been a long process. I've been having to cut the camera off so I could actually get some of just the rust and crap out of here and just the cake built on, I won't say rust, the built on dirt and everything off. It's just been a process getting all that stuff off to access these bolts. But I was able to get this one loose and I've always learned, just loosen this bolt off. Don't take it all the way off. Because you want to keep that together whenever you hit it. Because even though I'm supported here, that spring pressure is going to push down when I break this free. So the best thing to do is just get your jack set, break it free, and then walk it off slowly with a ratchet. 
which meant I fell over a while ago. And all this mess, because the bolt was so tight, I'm using such a small ratchet. I was using on it, leaning it, and yeah, I went over. That wasn't, that wasn't good for my old man back, but we're gonna keep going. So right now that everything's free, supported, and ooh, so I can actually just, damn it. Uh, starting to spin, if y'all can see. Yeah, I need to go a little slower. All right, now it's starting to come out. But it was starting to spin a little bit on the top side. But work that bolt off. Work that one out. Pretty much everything's free now with that one. So we can just lift it up and out, and then the knuckle should move over. Then I should be able to lower down my jack and relieve the spring tension off. I'm gonna leave the knuckle and the spindle attached together until I get it off the car, which will make it easier for me to hit that with an impact to get the nut off. So right now, let's try and get this free. I'm trying to do all this with one hand. This is not working the way I would like, so. There we go. Let's see, yeah, like right now, I could actually try to pop this off, which I may actually try to. Uh, maybe. I may take the nut off. Uh, no, I'll just wait. I'll wait till we get it free and down. And then I can just access the two control arm bolts and slide those out, and then the control arms will be off on this side. Then I can undo the little body bracing right there because the bolt's actually behind the control arm mount. So once I get that body brace out, we should be done with this side. And then we'll probably take the other part, part off camera, and then just try to get this finished up for the day because I'm running out of steam, but y'all get the gist of what we're doing. I'm trying to get it all torn down. So let's keep working. Let's see if we can get this spring to release without die in here let me move some stuff out of the way which i'm certain it's not gonna fly out they never do they just kind of come down a little bit let me move my rotor out of the way and there, everything else i also show y'all shatter that wheel speed sensor so gotta get a new one no biggie i think that's probably part of my problem anyway with my anti-lock light going on so come down slow with it All the way down. That's messed up. All right. So I guess we're gonna have to try to release it with my pry bar. It's loose, but not all the way loose. So let me hit that with this pry bar real quick and get it out. And I saved y'all the boring theatrics. I got the spring out. Now, final step, we're gonna pull the control arm upper and lower, have all this thing busted down, ready to start putting it back together once we get the other side torn down. So let's get to finishing this tear down. I'm gonna have to bring some bigger tools home tomorrow to tear the other side down. But right now, we got this one torn down. So let's keep at it. Everything apart now. See, we got the lower control arm out. This thing looks like trash, but as I suspected, that lower bush is starting to come apart and spin. This one was actually starting to come apart a little too, but we just got as far as we can tonight. Man, I left a bunch of stuff I need to bring home from work at work, so I can't finish getting the bracketry out. I got to get my Rationing 18 so I can get this upper control arm off. I left it at work as well, so I gotta get it off. But I guess we're gonna try to be finished up for today. We're gonna clean all this up. Then I destroyed my wheel speed sensor trying to get it out. That's terrible. Like I said, it's like 30 bucks on Rock Auto, so we'll get new ones. Anyway, glad to have a camera back, man, working on the car. We got everything out so far, as y'all can see. New coil overs, 
Love upper and lowers, everything brand new. We're gonna sand this down, tape everything off, clean it up pretty well. And we're gonna shoot it with that gold color. And that way it'll match. We're gonna go gold on the spindles, redo all the backing plates in black like they were. So y'all just you stay tuned with me. We're gonna keep working slowly but surely getting this Cadillac finished up. And man, I got a surprise for y'all, man, if I can make it happen. My little partner made me a deal I can't pass up. I may have to take him up on it and show y'all something we may end up doing to this car. That's a big may. So anyway, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We're going to keep grinding. Try to get the rest of the tools, get this car apart tomorrow. And once we get it apart, we'll just start cleaning everything up, get all the parts off, cleaned up, sanded, painted, and then we can start probably reassembling a day or so later. So anyway, appreciate y'all, man. We'll catch y'all in the next video.